know we know that work rate being tough these things are quite kind of well documented you see any team that you have coached but what are the fundamentals that you look for in a player but then in the small units and collectively a team what do you judge a player on international rugby level the, the players should have some ability from the you know they've, they've been selected for the country so in the squad they should have some athletic ability so there's nothing like just I, I someone always said to me never be beaten by a fitter man because it's totally under your control and that's what I, I, I've always wanted to coach fit athletic lads who can last a distance and whilst we've got a little bit more to go with the French team but I think we're definitely on our way now and I think they proved that with some of the performances you know even with 14 men at a lot of the time I think they also showed a little bit of grit as well and that's very important, I believe. Sean, I had all of them in abundance, mate, and leadership as well, and I wasn't picked for any of the Lions tours, mate. <laughs> <laughs> leadership, leadership's the... Uh, <laughs> neither did I, and I got picked for one, but I got sacked after that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's ask you about that then, actually, because uh, ultimately there's the, the Lions tour next year to South Africa. Um, uh, do, you, do you give Gats a bit of a nudge over the, the years that you've not been picked? Has he said much about it? Is... I, I think that I think um, um, you know I'm in French rugby now, and that's what puts me on the picture. So you know, it, I, I would love to try to to pay back that, um, which is the most disappointing <clears throat> um, series loss of, of, of my coaching career and the second test of most. Uh, you know, the worst loss of, of, of my coaching career was the second test because, you know, of what went on with the gouging, etc. It was just diabolical, wasn't it? And, um, you know, at one stage, we had a player on the pitch who should have been taken off. Uh, unfortunately, we, you know, we let a try in because of that. Um, and he was then immediately taken off afterwards. You know, no fault to him whatsoever, but he was knocked out and should have been taken off before. Uh, so a lot of things were... Like, like, I, funny enough, I was talking about that to my missus today, and I said, "Yeah, that 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 that, that series will sort of haunt me until my dying day, really." Even though we were playing against the best team in the world and probably the best South African team of all time, I think they beat the All Blacks three times that year. Yeah. And uh, I remember Richie McCall in his book said, "We asked him what is the best team he ever played against," and he said the, the 2009 uh, Springboks. And they were the dominant team in world rugby. We got, we went over the, you know, I mean, not being very successful in the previous Lions tour, etc., expecting to be get whipped. And the way those lads came together as, as a unit and uh, as a team was absolutely fantastic. And uh, you know, we was in the herd's breadth of beating the world champions on the road that year, you know, with very very limited preparation time. Yeah, it was an amazing tour and unfortunately just came up short in that second test. But let's let's talk about your coaching career then as well, because ultimately you spent a lot of time with Gats, um, you know, as a, as a partnership, as, you know, starting out at Wasps in a very successful era, um, you know, that really put that on the map and then obviously moving to Wales. How different is it you for you now coaching with, um, you know, different coaches? You've got uh, Gautier as the head coach who really didn't like Jim Hamilton when he was at Montpellier. But um, what's it like for you making that change as well? Yeah, I mean, it's good, but all the guys that I've, I've met, have, you know, I, I really enjoyed the company of all the guys and people like William Servat is a fantastic lad. You know, he couldn't have helped me more when I first moved over. Um, and, yeah, I mean, if you, if you, like the Wales um, set up, you know, if you, together for 12 years, you're going to have an argument. There's going to be a bit of friction between you at times. And so it's at times, I don't think it's a bad thing between the coaching staff. Um, we, you know, we certainly haven't got to anything like that with, with the French team, as we can't have any friction between us yet. But, but um, as I said, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer in, in the fact that competitive people, there's going to be some friction between you at times, isn't there? You know what I mean? Because you're not going to agree on everything. And the important thing is, is, is when you don't agree, is don't let the players uh, spot it. 